Yo guys, what is up? Solo in here. I'm back with a new video, and yeah, so I guess in better video title, you already know what's up. But what the fuck was that? My bad, I got a Twitter notification. But anyways, guessing by this video title, you already know what's up. Nine things you don't know about me because of uh, fucking whatever. I posted a poll on Twitter asking whether you guys want to see a GTA funny moments video or a nine things you didn't already know about me and the nine things you didn't already know about me you know beat the gta video so i guess i'll be doing the gta video later so yeah number one i was born in nigeria for those i mean i think you guys already know i think i've said this before in some other videos but for most of you guys, you probably don't already know, but I was born in Nigeria. I was not born in the United States. Um, I actually moved to the United States when I was four years old, and you guys might be wondering, yo, why the fuck is your accent not thick then? I don't fucking know, man. I've been Americanized. Shit. Number two, I still sleep with stuffed animals. And you may be wondering, why the actual hell does this guy still sleep with stuffed animals? And I can answer that question. You know when you're trying to watch YouTube videos in your bed and you don't fucking feel like holding up your phone uh, and, you know, looking at it because your hands eventually get tired? Yeah, I use my stuffed animals as a freaking phone rest so I don't have to use... Well, what the fuck was that? So I don't have to use my hands to hold the phone. So yeah, get wrecked, mate. Shit. Numero tres. I am bilingual, and if you don't know what bilingual means, bilingual means a person that could speak two languages fluently, or a person that's fluent in two languages. I don't know. I just read it off of Google. And if you're wondering what two languages I speak, obviously the first one's kind of self-explanatory. The first one, I, I I speak English, obviously. Fucking. Who doesn't speak English? And that, my friends, is a rhetorical question because I know not everybody in the world speaks English. The second one I speak is called Yoruba. And if you don't know what Yoruba is, Yoruba is a Nigerian language because there are three main languages in Nigeria, which is Yoruba, Hausa, and Igbo. And I speak Yoruba. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to teach you guys something in Yoruba. It's gonna be something small. So, um, if you have a Nigerian friend that speaks Yoruba, ask him Bawoni. It means you're a fucking idiot. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> it means how are you? I swear to God, it means how are you? I'm, I'm just fucking around. Don't don't walk up to a person and say nah. nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm playing. I'm a dick. Ah. Number four. I low key still play Club Penguin. Man, I can't wait to play Club Penguin today. <laughs> oh my God, I can play with my friends. Yes. Club Penguin! Club Penguin! <laughs> LOL! XD! <laughs> he said LOL! XD Club Penguin! Let's go! Number five! I know this has happened to at least one of you guys that are watching this video right now, but when I was six years old, I think this is around kindergarten, I swallowed a watermelon seed and I thought a watermelon would grow inside of me as a replacement and I'd die. Like, I was so paranoid about this shit. Like, it may sound like nothing now because obviously I have fucking common sense and you know a fucking watermelon seed will grow inside of you and fucking turn into a full-fledged watermelon. But like, the whole day I was so paranoid. So I asked my teacher, hey teacher, um... I, I ate a watermelon seed today at lunch. Am I gonna die? She's like, oh, silly. Is there any oxygen for that watermelon seed to breathe? Is there any sunlight for it? Is there, is, is there any water for it? And I'm like, no. And she's like, all right, then, honey, you're not gonna die today. I'm, I, was, I was like so fucking relieved after she said that. And yeah, that's the story of when I swallowed a watermelon seed then I was six number six I love anime I may not seem like a fucking anime fanatic or fanatic however the fuck you want to pronounce that word I may not seem like one but on the low I watch anime from Naruto to Dragon Ball Z to One Piece to Bleach to Black Bullet to Attack on Titan to Sword Art Online to God Eater to fucking what is it what is it One Punch Man I've watched so many animes in my life that it's ridiculous like fucking Brynhildr in the darkness or whatever um what else what else did i watch full metal alchemist and full metal alchemist brotherhood don't forget that one that one was better than the first one in my opinion tokyo goal and i just 
I've just watched so many animes. I really love anime. I don't really talk about it, obviously, but sometimes you hear me referencing some animes in my videos. But yeah, I, I like anime. Number seven. I should just really stop because my vocals really suck ass. I aspire to be a future hardware designer or hardware engineer, whatever you want to call it, or a game creator and or a filmmaker that acts and directs in movies. Maybe even both at the same time if possible. But um, my goal for college is that I'm going to try you know majoring in like I think computer hardware engineering or whatever I'm not sure I still have to do all the research obviously I'm not in college yet and I'm gonna try minoring in film so that if I start my own you know hardware business or some shit or a computer shop I don't know or uh, I can you know do acting and directing and filming as a background or whatever so yeah um uh, that's one thing uh, uh, you guys didn't know. <laughs> Number eight. I'm a professional water chef. I could boil your water. I could fry your water. <laughs> Shit, I can even drink your water. But the only thing I can't do to your water is, um, bake it because it's pretty hard to bake water. Finally, number nine. I hate grape juice or any grape flavored fruit snacks with a passion. I know I probably pissed off some of you guys right now, but I just fucking disgust. I just, I just don't like it. I just find it disgusting. Real grapes are good, but artificial grapes taste sh like shit. Fucking, if you eat gummy snack grapes taste like shit if you drink grape juice it just tastes like shit like me personally i just hate artificial grape and shit i i just don't i i, I like the real grape like the actual fruit but the artificial shit no fuck off with that <laughs> like i just hate it but yeah that's just me i don't know if you like it i don't know if you don't if you don't then welcome to the crew but if you do then you should um reevaluate your your soul um i'm just playing man um you do you i do me and but yeah, that's it. That's nine facts or things you didn't know about me. And there are many more to come. Uh, maybe I might do a part two of this shit. I, I don't know if you guys want me to. But if you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, I mean, drop a comment on what you thought about this video. So I love you guys. Peace, guys. So I have a nice day. See you guys on my next video. And if you guys haven't already checked my last video, go check that shit out. And let's go. Peace, guys. So I have a nice day. And stay with the flow. You all look like grapes.